Hi everyone, I hope you are well. I'm going to do three card readings today. One for love, one for finances and career, and one for a general reading. So the pile one will be three cards for love, pile two will be three cards for a career and finances, and pile three will be three cards for a general reading so i'm setting the intention and asking the angels and i'll choose cards from different packs as well whichever i'm drawn to so i'm asking the angels for a general reading for love for anyone who needs any guidance for love oh there we are one i'll choose one from these as well Asking for guidance for love for anyone who chooses pile one. There, there we have one. And I'll also choose one from these. So I'm asking for a card. There we have one. So that's so they are for love. Asking the angels now for finances and career for some guidance for anyone who chooses pile two for finances and career there we have one two i'll come to these cards asking for finances and career to please bring through a message for anyone who chooses pile two there we have two and three, asking the angels, asking the spirit of these cards to please bring through a message for career and finances. There we have two, so that's one, two, and for the general reading. general reading now for everyone who chooses pile three so there we have one choose one from here asking the angels to please bring through a general reading there we have two the spirit of these cards to please bring through a message for anyone who chooses for the general reading power three there we go i'm also going to come to anna starks as well for the general reading so i'm asking the galactic masters of light the cosmic beings of light the galactic council of light to please bring through any guidance that we need we've had this downpouring of light codes aquarium light codes there we are on 11 11 so we're still integrating and activating those beautiful codes so there we are and i'm going to come to the messages from our loved ones as well as they're stepping forward so i'm asking them to place their hands in mine, there we go, and bring through a message for their loved ones. So I'm asking, this is for love. The first one is Ace of Fire. So this is for those who need some guidance with your love life. And this is confirmation that things are going to start coming in. Things are really coming in that are going to be good, Begin new beginnings of passion. And from this passion, it grows, it grows into something really beautiful. So look within, 
feel the love within you don't be looking to receive love from people around you look for the love and feel the love that you have for yourself and if you have any restriction or you can't find that self-love go within and really nurture yourself love yourself like you love the closest person to you and feel that love within let go of any res resistance to love if you're resisting loving yourself because you feel there's something unattractive or whatever it may be let go of that and come within feel that beautiful divine love that you have within you and that will start to emanate from you and this is the new beginning of love coming into your life love and passion coming into your life and then we have appreciation appreciate yourselves appreciate everyone in your life if we have any resistance to loving ourselves or loving anyone around us, we are blocking love coming in. Let go of any blame. If we're not happy, it's, that is our responsibility. We can't blame people around us for that. It's coming back in and finding that appreciation we have for ourselves and appreciation we have for life. We are here a, a short time and we're here to to love ultimately we are here to love because if if we start rejecting people rejecting ourselves we we come back and that that is karma we're incurring karma by doing that so appreciate everything that you have and everyone you have in your life appreciate yourself full acceptance now opening your heart and allowing that beautiful love to come in which is here it's there and then goddess of sacred power you are being encouraged to take a leading role in this so if you want to feel love, give love. We, we are in that awareness of cause and effect. So if we give love, that's what will come back. Even in nature, nature has received all these, this downpouring of light, this downpouring of light calls out. Animals, pets are all rising up in consciousness. And it is being aware of that aware of the, this feeling of love first and foremost that we have for that divine essence of who we are and, and that, the love that we have for everyone around us and taking a leading role in that and that will as we give love it will come into our lives so if you're looking for love it's coming in if you're already in a relationship and and are not happy or there's problems there if you're feeling loved there let go of any lower vibrations of need of not feeling good enough or feeling you've done something wrong that is you judging yourself no one else is judging you let go of self self-judgment and be open and open your heart and 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 if you're feeling any resistance to love resistance to loving yourself or others really breathe into that and know that whatever we give out comes back so opening up letting go of resistance letting go of fear of loving letting go of fear of being of being taken the wrong way just love just send out that love, take off that restriction of, of thinking that they may think something different or what other people will think or just open your heart and love because it's coming in. It really is coming in. Just accept it, accept yourself and accept the love. As you give it, it will come in. Don't be fearful of giving it because when you give it in fear, it comes back with that tinge. It comes back with something that's not quite right. So give open-heartedly. Finances and career is 
So the the time the the four of earth is about balance. So if we're not enjoying what we're doing, we're just going to really always struggle. So when we come into the awareness that whatever we touch, we put our imprint, our energy imprint on it. So if we are doing things and we're not enjoying it, we're, we're not going to get full benefit back. If we are, if we don't want to be doing things, then we will get um, a, a small amount of reward back. So this is a kind of balance, giving and receiving in equal amounts. So where our finances are concerned, if we're worrying about loss and if we're worrying about not having enough, that's what we're going to create. So the angels are saying, focus on the abundance that you have in your life. Focus on the career that you have in your life and look at everything that you love about it. Let go of the stresses, let go of looking into the future, of trying to get all that work done. Come into this moment, the only place that is exists is this moment we're in and in this moment breathe to peace feel that expansion and as you're doing that you're filling your body with life force energy so that gives you the energy to do your work let go of your head telling you you've got too much to do because within doing that you, you create just so much conflict in your life so much tension so much heaviness so as you let go and know that everything has always been done exactly how it's meant to do and if it's not been done exactly how it's meant to be done then we learn and we do it differently each time so we everything that we do we're constantly learning let go of fear and making mistakes because there are no mistakes it's all learning and those mistakes are our perceptions and if anybody else is is going to do things in that way we are there to help and guide them through that it doesn't work that way try this way it's better and so everything is coming into balance now the angels are asking you to look at abundance flowing in feel that abundance flowing in feel the love of what you're doing in every single second because that's the energy that you're putting into everything you touch the energy that you're putting in is exactly what you're going to get back so things are starting to balance out for you now come back into balance find that joy of of what it is that you're doing in this moment and then we have the angel of clearance so this is a time of once you come into alignment it's it's clearing it clears everything it clears all the confusion and this is a time of waiting uh, of waiting coming to an end delays uh, finishing now things being shifted so things start to flow to you now easier as you come into alignment and you have that self-belief and you have that self-confidence you actually come into alignment and you get things done then and this is the angel of clearing helping you to clear those lower vibrations those lower emotions those lower thought forms that are, are stopping you from creating an abundant and happy life and then we have the temple path going within. This is going within, going into your heart space. This is this body is our temple, and, and within it, it holds our divine essence, our, our, our divine intelligence, the head and everything else has clouded it for so long so as we go within and know that you know what everything's going to be okay because I'm letting everything else go and I'm put I'm standing back in faith and that is the temple that is the path to, of the temple of, of going within of going in the place of love and and which is our way we all have a different way of doing things a, uni a unique way of doing things and it is finding our own way. We'll all do something completely different, but we've come to the same, the same conclusion. And that's okay. 
and this is the temple of the Tao. This is the way of the the way of your own alignment to to your soul journey. So coming into that, knowing that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are meant to be doing that. Take the wisdom from it. Take the take the growth and allow this wisdom to expand you to to draw the abundance in but the angels are now around you clearing those lower vibrations that have been blocking abundance and that after and they're lifting the stresses of your career letting it all go it does not serve so the angels are helping you with that so you're going to start seeing a flow of abundance coming into your life a flow of increased finances coming into your life so really really feel uplifted about that and then the general reading is the to let go of trying to make decisions so if you're in a place of your love life or your career and you don't know what you're meant to be doing you don't know which way to go step back because come back into the moment because the the choices will always present you will always know which way to go based on how they make you feel come out of the head come out of that confusion of your head into the very moment and know for every single second you're exactly where you're meant to be because it's preparing you for the love it's preparing you for abundance and and your career and you're not going to find the answers in our head so if you've got any decisions to make come out of your head come into your heart and allow your heart to guide you, allow your soul to guide you. This is a minor thing of going into conflict, of trying to solve problems before they even occur. Or solve problems that are even not our problems. Come out, let it go, it's a block. It, it, will, it will exhaust, it's a little block that will exhaust us. Absolutely exhaust us. Just one little thought that keeps running over in our minds is exhausting. Let it go. Let it go. Know and trust your own soul and your own soul's guidance. Then we have Archangel Ariel, and she's helping us to manifest. So she is helping us with our sacral. So she's helping us with our creation. And, and as we start to create things, and this is this is to do with our career, as we focus on and see the creation that we are manifesting in that moment, the passion that we're putting in it, the, going into nature and, and connecting with all the elements, connecting with, with all that ma divine magic out there in nature and, and really looking at nature that it gets everything achieved in perfect perfect time everything is going now it is going into sleep it's going into winter it's not fighting to stay away you can get more done it's just absolutely just withdrawing going into its sleep state everything's slowing down there's no there's no force of trying to keep things going it's just go with the seasons Go with how you're feeling. If you're not feeling right, sit, rest. And and drinking the right, drinking water, bottled water, eating the right foods. Archangel Ariel is bringing this creative energy that brings abundance into our lives. And she is helping us. So she's working with the sacral. So she's helping us with the relationships. She's helping us with relationships to do with Korea. So call Archangel Ariel in. She will help you to manifest pure divine magic in your life. Coming into that sacral, and that is the area of creation, and bringing it into balance and, and bringing those creative ideas up into into your reality without any doubts without any second thinking without any of going into any of that just enjoy life and and create enjoy creating we are creators we're our own creators and then we have 
the angel of the spirit messages. So this is coming from the galactics. Listen to those messages. Let go of those limiting beliefs. Let go of them and as you let go of those limiting beliefs, th this passion and this, this love floods through your body creating such expansion, bringing love in, bringing the right career in. Let go of your limiting beliefs of we can't do it, we can't achieve that, people don't see our worth, let all that go, they're our own limiting beliefs, they're not we're our own critics or self-judgments that will block us and stop us from going into that beautiful place of creation so the let go of those limiting beliefs and this is spirit messages and that leads us on to our, our messages from our loved ones in spirit and they're saying they always give us a good night kiss so every night before you close your eyes Send love to them, feel them close. They're happy in spirit. They really are. All they feel is love. They don't feel sadness. They don't feel anger. They just feel love. They're free now. And this is just confirmation that if you're feeling, if you felt someone around you lately, if you every night when they pop into your head and memory comes into your head, that's them saying, I'm here. I'm, I'm with you and just and just feel them with that pureness of love and they will always come and give us a kiss good night so feel that beautiful love from your loved ones bringing that gorgeous message and those kisses you know that they give us are so healing they infuse all that love that they feel for us once they kiss us and that energy flows into our body with pure love and pure healing. And then we have the angel of new life. So this card is here. This is there, just sitting there. And this is an exciting new chapter about to unfold in our lives, to do with love life, to do with careers and finances to do with everything that's general. This is a new chapter unfolding, a beautiful chapter unfolding in our lives. So I'm sending so much love and angel blessings to you all. And thank you, thank you for listening. God bless, thank you.